Hello, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to do a quick video about what I've been doing recently, which is a lot of reading. I have always loved to read, but sometimes when life gets busy, I forget to read and um, it's hard to relax my mind on what's going on in a book when I have a lot going on in real life. So um, these are some books I've read over the years that I really and truly loved. Um, I'm going to do a countdown to my number one favorite and do some honorable mentions in another pile. But these are my six books that I recommend. All right. Okay, so number six on my list would be the book Horns. I really like this book. It's by Joe Hill. Um, it is the son, who is the son of Stephen King. Um, this book is honestly, I think, better than any Stephen King book. Um, they made it into a movie with Daniel Radcliffe. It's on Netflix, I believe. The movie is okay. The book is way better. But this is my sixth favorite book that I've read. Um, it has a element of a Faustian story. Um, has a lot of um, animals and creatures and you follow this character, the main character, along on what he doesn't know if he's losing his mind or if this is actually happening to him based on events that have happened in his past and he's being, he thinks he's being tortured for them. But this is a great book. I recommend it. On to number five. Number five. Okay. So number five is a mystery that I read, The Winter People. It goes in between the past and the present. Um, it's a mystery. Um, fictional mystery. All these books are fictional. Um, I'll have one mention about a book that's um, that's kind of like a documentary style um, nonfiction, but most of, all these books are going to be fiction because that's what I prefer to read. But anyway, um, this book is really good. I love this author. Um, she also wrote another book that I'm going to mention called um, The Night Sister, which was pretty good. Um, really like this book as well. Um, but they're, they're similar. They're both told in Vermont and they give you that Im imagery of like the northern countryside, which I really like. Okay, number uh, four, sorry, number four is Gone Girl, of course. This was a great book. Um, I love the way this was written, um, you, it's a definitely a mystery, you'll halfway through be like, what, it, like, because it changes perspectives between the wife and the husband, um, just love the way this is written, another really good book by Jillian Flynn, it, Jillian Flynn is Sharp Objects, this is a really good one as well. Um, the TV series, again, not as good as the book, but, you know, when is it ever as good as the book? Um, next book is by Alice Hoffman, The Museum of Extraordinary Things. This is a great book. I loved this book so much. It, um, is very fantasy, um, but also it has a great scary reality to it. And this is also the author of my favorite movie, Practical Magic. Never read the book, but I'm sure it's great. But this is a really good um, story that's told in the early 1900s, um, New York. And it's about a museum, and it's really good, really good. It, it has a mystical fantasy air to it about like mermaids and like werewolves and stuff like that, so, but it's really good. Number two would have to be Meddling Kids. This is like my second favorite book. It was so good. Um, another book another book by this author that I've read is The Supernatural Enhancements. It's a good book, but it wasn't as good as this one. This one I highly recommend. Um, the story follows four friends, and it's got like a Scooby-Doo sort of feel to it. As you can tell from the, the front cover, it's got a dog and like four friends. So if you like, if you're an adult and you watch Scooby-Doo as a kid, you'll probably more than likely love this book. So definitely recommend this one. My number two. And my number one that I absolutely am obsessed with, and this author is probably my favorite author right now, is um, 
The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. This book is amazing. Um, my number one favorite book right now. I read it last fall and it's got everything. And it's, this author likes to read, this author likes to write about the UK, um, Scotland and England and London. London is a part of England, but yes, this is amazing. Um, it's got mystery, ghost, um, you're not sure it, what's, if it's a ghost, interfering or if it's someone with ill intentions set on going after the family and then at the end there's a twist that you don't see coming and it's pretty scary and it's pretty good so I really recommend this. Honorable mention though by another book by this author that I definitely recommend is um, In a Dark Dark Wood. This book was amazing as well. Um, I just finished this book by her as well, The Lying Game. The Lying Game. It's okay. Um, it, it's a very slow burning book, like slow burn. Like you, the last 100 pages is pretty much the essence of the whole story, and it took a while to get there, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, love this author. Love these books. But my number one favorite book would have to be this one. It's amazing. Um, another honorable mention that I wanted to mention was this book. I'm a runner and I read this book when I was kind of looking to find more inspiration. And um, this is a nonfiction book and it's about these guys that go to Mexico and do a, um, a really long trail run. Um, but it, it, if you're not a runner, you're probably not going to appreciate this book, to be honest, but I really enjoyed it. Um, and another honorable mention, I read this on the way back from Iceland. Um, it, it, it took me two flights, like seven, eight hours. I read this whole book on the ocean at the end of the lane. Um, it's pretty good, but I don't know if I would be as interested in it if I wasn't stuck on a plane for seven or eight hours. So, but it was really, it was pretty good. It was perfect for the flight back to um, the U.S. from Iceland. Um, but yeah, these are some of my favorite books. Uh, definitely highly recommend these two if you're looking for a book to read. Um, these two are definitely my favorites, but hope you guys enjoy this. Um, hope you guys find some books that you are really into right now in your downtime and uh let me know in the comments below if you guys have any book recommendations i like mystery thrillers sci-fi fictional stories but um yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you next time bye <laughs>